For today's lesson, we will be learning different types of conjunctions that show time sequence. This refers to actions that happen at the same time or actions that happen one after the other. The words are when, while, as, before, after, as soon as, and until. When we want to refer to things that happen at the same time, we can use the conjunctions when, while, and as. Let's look at an example in one. 1. Leo and Benny saw Sisley. Leo and Benny were chatting. If Leo and Benny saw Sisley at the same time as they were chatting, then we can use any of these conjunctions to join the two sentences. For example, Leo and Benny saw Sisley while they were chatting. Let's learn the steps to join these two sentences. Let's look at while. Step 1. Put while in between the two sentences. Step 2. Change Leo and Benny in the second sentence to the pronoun they. Step 3. Remove the full stop at the end of the first sentence. So we have 1a. Leo and Benny saw Sisley while they were chatting. The steps are also the same for the words when and as. So we have 1b. Leo and Benny saw Sisley when they were chatting. When we use the word as, the sentence becomes 1c. Leo and Benny saw Sisley as they were chatting. Let's now look at another group of conjunctions. When we want to refer to two actions that happen one after the other, we can use conjunctions such as before, after, and as soon as. Let's look at the example in two. Rumbo finished the cake. Cherry arrived. If the action in the first sentence happened first, that is, if Rumbo had finished the cake first, then we can join the two sentences using the word before. For example, 2a. Rumbo finished the cake before Cherry arrived. When we use the conjunction before, the sentence that refers to the first action must be in front of before. When we use the conjunctions after and as soon as, the sentence that refers to the first action must be after these conjunctions instead. To b, Cherry arrived after Rumbo finished the cake. When we use the word as soon as, the sentence becomes to c, Cherry arrived as soon as Rumbo finished the cake. The last conjunction for this lesson is until. We use until to mean up to the time when. For example, Leo waited until Cherry arrived. This means that Leo waited up to the time when Cherry arrived. Turbogal, can you remember what we have learned today? Yes! We have learned different types of conjunctions that show time sequence. This refers to actions that happen at the same time or actions that happen one after the other. The words are when, while, as, before, after, as soon as, and until. When we want to refer to things that happen at the same time, we can use the conjunctions when, while, and as. For example, 1b. Leo and Benny saw Sisley when they were chatting. Or, Leo and Benny saw Sisley while they were chatting. Or, Leo and Benny saw Sisley as they were chatting. When we want to refer to two actions that happen one after the other, we can use conjunctions such as before, after, and 
as soon as. For example, 2a. Rumbo finished the cake before Cherry arrived. When we use the conjunction before, the sentence that refer to the first action must be in front of before. When we use the words after and as soon as, it is the opposite. The sentence that refer to the first action must be after these conjunctions. For example, 2c. Cherry arrived after Rumbo finished the cake. Or, Cherry arrived as soon as Rumbo finished the cake. The last conjunction for this lesson is until. We use until to mean up to the time when. For example, Leo waited until Cherry arrived. This means that Leo waited up to the time when Cherry arrived. Good job, Turbo Girl.